What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the Queen Studios Hulk bust. So part of my transition to upgrade my collection to Flankster's Cave 2.0 is getting rid of the old polystone comic statues and statues that I don't love quite as much and upgrading to the new silicones and whatnot. So if you're unfamiliar, silicone is generally used for breast enhancements, medical purposes, and as of recent, it's been used for high-end bus. Now, this is the Queen, made by Queen Studios out of China. They've been around about two years now. I own a few of their products, the Captain Marvel, Spidey Panther, and uh, Thanos Bust. And now we have Hulk Bust. So this comes in two pieces, if you did not see my live unboxing. Well, three pieces, technically. The base, this nameplate comes off, and then Hulk is one giant piece. So Hulk is all silicone, hand-punched hair. I'm not sure if it's acrylic or resin teeth and then glass eyes. This is a piece you'll want to display high up. You know, I'm looking at it slightly down right now, but when I'm in my statue room, that's actually my angle. So that is a perfect angle. So you do want to have it slightly above eye level. Uh, you know, same thing with Thanos, really. You want it like that angle. Because uh, from standing up down low, that's what you're going to see. You'll want to see it like that. So definitely a piece you're going to want to have higher up so you can see. Because the main highlight of this piece is going to be that portrait. Because uh, the body, you know, it's just massive. But it's not what you buy a Hulk for. You buy it for that Hulk face, that expression. Uh, so this piece cost me $3,900 or $3,800. Yeah, I think $3,800 actually to be exact. Retailing this I believe was about $2,200 plus like shipping was quite expensive because it's a monster sized box. So I believe it goes for around $3,000, $3,100 retail. And then I paid uh, $3,800. So, you know, about six, dollars $700 over retail. As you can see, I placed it next to the Sideshow Hulk, which was my plan, because I love doing bus next to one-fourth. Their greens are not a perfect match, but it is from different movies as well. This is Age of Ultron, and this is Infinity War, and Hulk's color did change uh, a few different times throughout the movie. But overall, they look absolutely fantastic together, especially with that Hulk nameplate, because that's exclusive on this guy. So this bus stands about 32 inches tall, I believe. Uh, it's quite wide as well, as you can see. So this is on a 48 inch wide garage shelf. This bus weighs very, uh, it's very, very heavy. The base weighs maybe 15, 20 pounds. And then Hulk himself is like 30 to 40 pounds. He's very heavy. He has a greasy feel to him. You know, when you pick him up on his side, touching that silicone, it has a greasy feel to it. Uh, so silicone, uh, presents this sort of like wet look almost, like a, like a sweats. Not everywhere, but in certain areas. And that does add a sense of realism. But you can all just like, look at that ear. That looks like a real human ear. Uh, this comes with hand-punched hair. Now this hair is not all one color. Uh, it does have some little grays uh, here and there. So, you know, this is when uh, from Infinity War where Hulk is older. Uh, so they did include some grays uh, throughout his hair every now and then. Uh, there is no ear hair, but I don't think I would want that. There is hand-punched hair as well for his eyebrows, uh, which as you can see has some grays. Now here is the glass eyes, and they look really good. I like the, the colors of them. They look great. It reminds me of Hulk's eyes. Here is the teeth. He does have sort of an underbite, which, you know, makes sense for Hulk. I think the teeth look great. They have more of a wet look than Thanos did. Now, Thanos, I had to gloss my Thanos teeth up because they were very dry looking, where these are more of a wet look. I wish Thanos came out like this. I think straight out of the box, these teeth are better than Thanos. Now, this one also does have, like, the stubble all across his face. Now, more prominent here in the mustache and beard area. You know, and this is what it means by extreme detail. Having actual hand-punched stubble, actual glass eyes, and hand-punched hair for the eyebrows and head. 
and then the skin texture you know it looks just like a human would be all the different little pores all throughout you know so the body is nothing to really brag about I me mean, it's huge there's some good muscular detail throughout here giant traps it is the portrait that just has that screaming hulk in detail that just looks absolutely fantastic i think the green is a good color there's hints of brown here and there you know like brown right there and there around the eyes and really depending on the lighting will affect this quite substantially. I think the likeness is perfect. It looks just like Mark Ruffalo's uh, Hulk. So definitely not a question of likeness. The hair, uh, when it comes, it was a little flat. I wet it and tried to make it go a little bit, you know, less, more fluffy-ish uh, how it is in the movies. <clears throat> uh, they did put some sort of gel in it as my fingers were very sticky after touching it. This one did not have tons of hair all throughout uh, the body, which sometimes you'll find with silicone when you take it out, because silicone's kind of sticky, uh, that you'll find tons of little hairs all throughout the entire bust. This one did not have that issue, where my Wolverine did. So that's at least a positive. I don't like seeing the little hairs. I pick every little hair out when I see those. So let's check out this base. This has a very tall base, and that's what also gives it quite a bit of presence. That's like a seven inch tall base. It's reminiscent of the spaceship where Hulk fought Thanos. That was the concept behind the, this. Because that was his only redeemable fight, sort of, getting whooped by Thanos. You know, when Loki said, we have a Hulk. The base looks great, though. You know, good weathering. The logo. I would love if they did a switch out logo that just said Hulk. I like the logos for sure, but I'd love a Hulk logo. So if you don't want to display this, you know, like me, this is my Age of Ultron, really. I love just a Hulk sign. Now you can remove this. Um, like that, but then you have that hole there. <coughs> so, you know, you can see the magnet and the hole. I wonder if someone, you could even commission someone to make a logo that says just Hulk. Because that's honestly what I prefer, like that, a green Hulk. So that's one thing I would say Queen definitely could have did. Now, all right, let's check out the COA. So it talks a lot about Hulk, nine feet tall. So Queen Studios captured it, Avengers Infinity War made of medical grade platinum, silicone, artificial hair, glass eyes. So I do like these COAs. I eventually plan to put these in plaques and wall mount every single one of them. I just haven't done that yet, but I will get to it. So overall, let's talk about this piece. Concept, it definitely captures Hulk. I like the pose uh, for what it is, you know, meaning his teeth grinning, you know, because when you think Hulk, you always think Hulk smash, Hulk angry, just like the statue to the left. Uh, so I do like the, the pose they chose for Hulk. The base, I do like it. I think it's a, it's a nice base. It's different from the other ones, which is a uh, brush, brush of breath air. The one thing I would probably change is maybe add more chest area because, you know, you look like Black Panther. You know, you have some of his chest and a little bit of his top abdomen. Same with him. Thanos, not quite as much. But Hulk definitely has the least amount of chest area. I would have liked a little bit more chest area. You know, if they could have somehow given you like that, maybe make the base a little bit bigger, but, you know, if I was to make a Hulk bus, you know, I do it. If I mean, I don't know about including all of the thing, but maybe you do a Y like that, include this part of the chest, more of it. I mean, it does have some, but I would just want a little bit more, a little bit more body. And frankly, I wouldn't mind it being slightly bigger. Uh, you know, just a little bit taller and a little bit bigger. It is very, very big. You know, this is a one four scale next to it, and you can see. It has incredible presence. But if I was to change anything, like going back to the drawing boards with Queen, I would say, let's add more body. 
Uh, make it a little bit bigger, add more body. You know, if you need to widen the base a little bit. The base is definitely manageable. It's not super big as in regards to like depth and width. Now the bust, as you can see, it is also quite deep uh, because of the way his head comes out and everything. So mine's almost touching the wall. So he has a lot of back muscle as well. It's a shame you really don't see that because it's in the back, but he does have some good back muscle. But overall, this piece is definitely absolutely incredible. If you're a big Hulk fan or you're trying to go all out MCU high end, uh, you definitely want to have Hulk bust. Uh, you know, I also got Iron Man bust on the way. And then if they ever make a Cap or Thor, I definitely consider it. Queen stated they're not doing any girl busts outside of Captain Marvel, or it has to be like a full mask, no human portrait. So don't expect a Black Widow bust, unfortunately. But at least we got Hulk, we got Iron Man coming, we'll get Loki here soon. So definitely an absolutely incredible piece and I'm very happy I have it. You know, so when I'm sitting down now in my man cave, get that awesome view of all my queen bus. Really, really need to Iron Man bust right there. It's driving me crazy. And then we'll get Loki bust right there. I think he'll look absolutely fantastic. But Hulk is what I expected. It is a 10 out of 10 piece for me for sure. Definitely uh, incredible bust. So if you're a fan of Hulk, must have. Was it worth the money and the sacrifice? Yes, for him, absolutely. He is incredible and definitely better than let's say like six or seven XM pieces for me personally. So overall, definitely a grail in my opinion. Anyways, folks, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.